I remember when the New World Order was a conspiracy theory. Now is spoken openly at the World Economic Forum. That order seems to know, know, uh, not be uh, the order anymore. We are on the way to a new order, so we are between orders. Uh, do you agree with that, or are there ways of uh, what are we able to keep on the positive side from the old order to bring into a new world order, and how can we avoid that that new world order uh, becomes like a jungle growing back, and we rather uh, have an uh, order based on international law and the uh, principles that have brought us prosperity and uh, freedom uh, for decades. I guess, and maybe this is the, the old um, kind of teacher in me coming out, I think of this a little bit more about a transition of eras rather than a transition of orders, but the two are kind of cousins of one another. The reason I draw the distinction is because I don't think the international order built after 1945 is getting replaced wholesale with some new order. Um, it will obviously evolve as it, as it has evolved multiple times over the decades since 1945. But I do think in a, in a more sharp and distinctive way, we are moving into a new era. And that's what I talked about in my remarks, that we are, you know, the post-Cold War era has come to a close. We're at the start of something new. We have the capacity to shape what that looks like. And at the heart of it will be many of the core principles and core institutions of the existing order adapted uh, for the challenges that we face today.